All right, so here's the thing. GG is not fixing something that is completely broken. Well, at least it seems like it could be broken. So the thing is, you can have crazy life and mana sustain. I try to get as little damage as possible right now. So I'm basically just blocking Bolighting and then, what is this? Blazing Salvo just for, just to have as many hits as possible. I also have Archmage linked to my Bolighting and also Indigon. So the mana cost keeps ramping up. But as you can see, the mana keeps bouncing like crazy. Every, every hit essentially recovers 3% of my life and mana. And that is achieved basically with the Curse Mastery. Recover 1% mana and 1% uh, life when you curse an uncursed enemy. Now, typically, the curse would have to expire or it would have to be somehow removed. But if you have 0 out of 0 curses, basically your maximum curse limit is 0. And you still curse the enemy, it still counts as enemy getting cursed and immediately uh, removes that curse. Which is kind of dumb. And it seems that each time you hit an enemy, it curses, and the more curses you have, let's say glass with the double double curse and then ring with another curse, you lose those curses, you don't apply actually those curses, but each time you hit an enemy, you apply three curses, so you recover 3% life and mana on hit. Now this is just a quick uh, test, it's not like an actual build, just put on uh, Curse Mastery, Replica Doedris Damning, some kind of uh, gloves with double course and then ring for an extra course. So I'm applying three courses. Now the application for this would be, I guess, either Indigon builds or any builds that require a lot of mana sustain, like Indigon, Archmage or Mana Forged. And... Um, huh. Wish I could interview you, the oops, and, and uh, let you talk about it, why it's so broken. But essentially, yeah, you can make some insane builds if you can recover like 20,000 mana per second, right? You can spend a lot of mana and recover all that mana, and all you need to do is sacrifice a course, sacrifice a ring, and possibly sacrifice the gloves. And then get as many procs as possible, uh, as many hits per second as possible. And then, I think you said that uh, uh, you were able to one-shot Guardians, right? So, <laughs> I don't know why they are not fixing this. And I'm not sure if, when did we get this course mastery? Oh, Mirage Archer was able to, yeah. So with the Mana Forge, when you use Mirage Archer, essentially you ramp up the mana cost, let the Mirage Archer continue spamming without extra mana cost, without extra spending, uh, without spending extra mana. And you as a player just ramp up the mana cost, get as many triggers, get as many hits per second, and then let the Mirage Archer with the Mana Forge just ramp up the damage and just one shot stuff. You still need to get a lot of mana. It's not really a thing that I would do because this is just straight up cheating. Just straight up cheating. And you can you can use this at lower level as well. All you need is like a, this thing which has no level requirement. The course master which there are a couple places where to access that easily. And then uh, either the gloves or the ring. And well gloves could be like with a single course. And you can use the ring. And then just some skills that proc many things, um, um, hit many times. So yeah, this is kind of broken and I'm I'm just making this quick video just to show that it is broken and, and bring attention to 4GG to fix it because I don't know how we let this happen. It has been known, I'm not sure if, if it has been known and, and done for, for multiple leagues, but this league especially a couple players have been talking about this um, and, and some, some crazy numbers. So yeah, that's pretty much it.